Today is World Braille Day. It is a day observed annually on the 4th of January to highlight the significance of Braille as a means of communication for um, people with visual impairment and those who are partial, partially sighted. The day is also to celebrate the birth anniversary of Louis Braille. He was a French educator who invented the Braille system after being blinded at a very young age. Braille Day provides an opportunity to facilitate discussions on the subjects of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act, prevention, identification, as well as the rehabilitation of the eyes disease. It also brings to attention on the difficulties faced by blind and partially sighted people in their day-to-day -day life. Braille Day also highlights the negligence practiced by the authorities towards blind people. And joining me now is news reader, editor, Max FM, Victor Otuya, to discuss World Braille Day. Good to have you join us. My pleasure to have been here. So let's talk about this. Um, it is something that is not even often talked about, especially how um, people who, who are living with visual impairment deal with, you know, the day-to-day -day, um, um, rigors. And especially now that we are living with the COVID-19, you know, access to information is now more important than ever. Talk to us about how people with visual impairments are reacting to this and how it, this, this uh, COVID-19 pandemic has been for them. Like everyone in the world, I mean, facing the limitation posed by um, COVID-19, yes, um, persons with visual impairments have been a hit and badly hit and finding themselves at the, at the, at the bottom of the ladder. In, in terms of um, help, you know, whatsoever, but then uh, we, we, we keep uh, fighting, we, we will keep fighting that uh, barrier, which is uh, the perception of the, the society, because in as much as we believe in ourselves, yeah, that's one, but then that perception then has to be um, such that it's, 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 um, accommodates us, you know, mm. believing in us that yes, we have what it takes to be in the world markets in, in, in various spheres of life. Mm. And really, um, b being visually impaired do doesn't have an impact on the brain, be it just as smart as everyone else. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, but yeah. again, we see that there is some level of discrimination in terms of um, em employment in organizations. Yes, there is. Um, and, and that's because of access to facilities that will help do the work. So talk to us about, I see that you are reading the Braille, yeah. uh, but how, how easy it is, you work in a news station, yeah. not everybody has that, um, you work with Max FM, not everybody has, has that um, privilege to, to do that. How easy is, is it for people living with visual impairment or people who are visually impaired to get a job and have access to um, the Braille? It's, it's not easy, I must tell you. Even when you are proving that you can, you can do this job, mm. that perception, as I said earlier, yeah, I talked about earlier, is there. They're not believing in you that you can, you can do it. And you, you, it's, it's obvious. You're telling them this is what you have. These are your skills. You've been there before. You've been doing the job. But then it's like for the fact that you're, you're blind. I mean, they just aren't seeing the possibilities you are seeing. That, that is it. Um, they've not had the experience of working with any person with visual impairment. And even for persons, some persons who have worked with persons with visual impairment still are not convinced. Mm. Still are not convinced. So we'll just have to, you know, carry on, you know, with, with that um, exercise to convince people that we have what, what, it, what it takes. Um, in as much as I say, you can take a horse right. to the stream, but you can't force it to drink. Mm. And we we'll hope that the um, various organizations, um, federal government and state government steps in to ensure that something is done in terms of um, access to the Braille. I just wish we could have more conversation <laughs> about this. Newsreader, editor, Max FM, Victor Tuya, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, again, my, my pleasure.